barefoot shoes. We freaking love them here at Terra Drift. But well, I mean, mostly me. Uh, also partially Josh. And when it comes to barefoot shoes, we have tested a lot. And that's because I'm all in on the whole barefoot minimalist shoe movement. Heck, I'm happy to hike barefoot if the conditions allow. But when shoes are required, as they often are, you know, when you go into uh, gas stations or restaurants or bookstores or say very gravelly trails, a pair of barefoot shoes is the next best thing. So we've amassed quite a collection of barefoot shoes and I just thought it was high time that we talk about some of our favorites for every season, starting with sandals. Now, uh, those of you who've been around Terra Drift for a while know that we have whole videos about barefoot sandals, and we'll link to one of those from this past summer below. But uh, my favorite barefoot sandals might just be these. These are the deliberate life design sandals, and frankly, what makes them so great is not only are they flexible and thin, and they do come in a variety of sole thicknesses, but they are technically custom. As in, you can pick out what shape you want the sole of this sandal to be, which is awesome. And then you can pick the color and print out templates to figure out if the toe plug is going to be in the right place. They're fantastic. And because they're so custom, these fit me better than any barefoot sandal I own. I freaking love them. Although, a close second would be the Luna sandal, because frankly, those things are comfortable as all get out and possibly the most flexible barefoot sandals we've ever tested, especially considering how much tread the soles have. Now, if you're not a sandal person, no problem. We've tested plenty of barefoot shoes that are not sandals. There's also the Vivo Barefoot Magna Light SG. These are obviously Josh's they're too big for me. But I have an identical pair, and these became my favorite new hiking boot. I do not hike in boots. I hike in shoes, I hike in sandals, almost never boots. But these, they wear like a shoe. They're super thin, they're lightweight, they're supremely flexible. They've got plenty of tread, and frankly, they're just so dang comfortable. I not even wore these hiking, but these were the very first barefoot shoe that I backpacked in. And yeah, I freaking loved it. So lightweight and breathable. Doesn't feel like wearing a shoe at all. Now, ones that Josh and I have both tested, but Josh prefers more than I do, is the Merrill Trail Glove 7. They're dirty, sorry. I didn't clean all of these shoes before I showed them to you. Listen, it's proof that we wear them, okay? You know what, just watch the B-roll. Josh also reviewed these and loves them because they're sleek, they're low profile, they have a decent tread, they're not quite as barefoot and minimalist as some of these other shoes. They do have a little bit of arch support and are a bit narrower, but as kind of like a crossover shoe, they're an excellent option. And Josh doesn't just wear these trail running, he wears them like everywhere. I don't know how many pairs of Merrill trail gloves he's gone through over the last three years, frankly. It's been several because he freaking loves this shoe. But let's talk less, I don't know, outdoorsy for a sec, because there is one shoe I got to test this year that has become my go-to since temperatures dropped below, I don't know, like 65 degrees. And that's the Feel Grounds Chelsea. Again, they're dirty. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. I wore them on the trail today, okay? Not that they're trail shoes per se. They do have decent tread, but it's not aggressive. The type of thing you'd usually find on a pair of hiking boots. On the contrary, these are an excellent kind of casual style that can handle some light outdoor activity while being tolerably lightweight, very flexible for a pair of boots, and so easy to wear. I mean, a pair of Chelsea boots just freaking goes with everything. I mean, like, picture the Blundstones all your friends have. But, you know, vegan and uh, barefoot. And I've never held a pair of Blundstones in my hand, but I'm guessing this is quite a bit lighter. And probably more comfortable. If I'm being honest. But seriously, these live by my front door because they're going to be the boots that I just slide my feet into when I'm going out to run errands or whatever. I mean, if I'm not planning on any hikes while I'm traveling, say for work or something. I'm just going to wear these this fall and winter. That's it. These are the only boots coming with me. So comfortable. 
so easy. And then there's winter boots to consider, which is maybe not what you think of when you first picture barefoot shoes, but you know what? Brands are making them and I support it. And a pair that I've recently gotten to test are the Zero Shoes Alpine. Now, these are great for plenty of reasons. First of all, they have fairly aggressive tread, which handles walking on snow and slush really well. These boots are waterproof, which means you can totally go out and play in the snow in them. <laughs> and I have. And while they're not super thick, they do have some insulation, plus all this nice cozy fuzzy stuff up by your ankles. And keep your feet pretty warm into some pretty cool temps. And I'm talking like mid 30s here. Much colder than that, you're probably gonna need something with more of a liner if you're not actively moving. But you could also totally go on a snowy hike with these. They're comfortable, they're super light for a winter boot, they're cozy, and like pretty much every zero shoe I've ever tried, they just feel nice on your feet. So yeah. Yeah, I think these are getting quite a bit of use this winter. Now that, you know, like we live in a place with snow, which I'm very excited about, by the way. So yeah, these have been some of our favorite barefoot shoes this year and even from previous years. So if you're in the market for a pair of barefoot shoes or are interested in trying out barefoot shoes, you can't go wrong with any of these. And like I said, if you want a little bit more of an in-depth look at any of these, we'll put links to the reviews we've done of a lot of them in the description below. So you can check them out and get a little more info. Also, let us know if we missed your favorite barefoot shoe because maybe we need to test those out. I love hearing about what other kinds of shoes people are putting on their feet, as long as they're barefoot style. Otherwise, I don't care. They're not barefoot. I don't want them. You can also check out a bit more about barefoot shoes in general over on our blog, TerraDrift.com. And you know, like follow us on Instagram and Facebook and X. We're at TerraDrift. And yes, we post quirky content about barefoot shoes every once in a while, so, so get on that. And then get your feet into some barefoot shoes and wander on. Barefoot shoes. <laughs> hey, wait.